Do you know the reason why most agents don't generate business off of their Google profiles? Well, it's actually because most agents don't actually understand the Google ecosystem. You see, there's two main sources on Google that you can generate leads from. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly which of these two Google programs you need to be involved with because they're separate and different and there's a lot of confusion here. So let's jump into this. I'm going to help you understand now exactly how to generate leads and get closings from your Google profiles. So let's jump into this. I'm going to share my screen. I did a search for a real estate agent in my town. I'm in Winslow, Maine. So we searched for real estate agent in Winslow, Maine. Now what's come up on our screen, I'm going to go through reading you from the top down. This is really important for you to understand what's happening here because most agents don't really understand the Google ecosystem. And honestly, it's not your fault. Um, Google has changed the names of these of these programs multiple times in the last several years. And so there's a lot of confusion out there. So let's clear up that confusion right now. First off, what we're looking at here on our screen is this, this top section where it says sponsored real estate agents in Winslow, Google screened. What that is, that is Google local service ads. So I'm going to grab a highlighter right here and put a put a draw a highlight right around this right here. This is Google local service ads right there. Right now, as I record this video, there's two showing up on desktop. Sometimes there's three on desktop. Sometimes there's two on mobile. And sometimes there's three on mobile. Google is constantly iterating and playing with this. These are ads that you're going to get calls from. Okay, you guys direct calls. So what we're looking at on the screen right here is two agents, two real estate agents. This first one here, Harrison Wolfingham. The second one, real property team. That's my team here in Maine. We are in Winslow. That is why we're ranking number two. You need to be in the top one or two spots if you, consistently if you want to get these calls. What happens when someone clicks this now? So they click this over here. Let's click my profile right here. It opens up this profile. Now, when I click this number and I click call, it'll ask me to dial my phone. I'm not going to make the call. It'll say open FaceTime because I'm using an Apple. Or if I was on my phone, it would go ahead and dial the number. The number it's going to call here, down here, this number right here, okay? That is not my phone number. That's a Google assigned phone number. It's a Google voice number, but it will forward to wherever I want to send it. I'm not gonna go into the details of where you should send it right now and how you should uh, answer the phone, but this is a Google local service ad, a GLS. Google local service ad. These calls will cost about $35 to $45 per call in most markets. It's called Google screened. Now this is where it gets really confusing. So let me explain. The Google screened part is from the consumer's perspective. Google has screened these, the people shows here. It says licenses checked by Google and partners. If you see on the left here, I'm circling. This means the call Google has screened. So Google is telling the person searching for real estate agent in a certain town that these agents have been screened by Google. We verify their licenses. We know they're ongoing entities. They have good reviews and we recommend them. This is why it's a very, very valuable to be on Google local services. How do you get on Google local services? Let me jump back over here. I have a second search up here. You type in Google local service ads in your search bar and you will see your first couple of hits will be right here, ads.google, advertise your local services. The second one is also Google ads, local service ads, lead generation for local customers. You click over here, you set this up and you click get started and it takes you through the process of setting up your local services account, your GLS account. Okay, see where it says here, Google guaranteed. The guarantee is that you only get buyer or seller leads and you only pay for buyer or seller leads in the areas that you wanna be paying for them, okay? This is a different platform than Google Business or Google, My, or Google My Business. So let's just keep that in mind. This is where all the confusion comes from. It's what I really want you to understand. A lot of people think they have this set up and you don't. So backing up to my search, the top results are local service ads. It does not cost to be displayed here. You only pay per phone call. Okay, I will tell you that as a practical matter, in my single market in Maine, I run these, uh, this particular ads for my team, we close on average 40 transactions a year. Okay, we convert 10% of these calls from the very first call. So every 10 calls, I have one closing, cost me about 40 bucks a lead. 
So I spent about four hundred dollars to have one closing. Average GCI is eight to eight to nine thousand dollars. Do that all day long. It's a tremendous return on your on your investment. Google local service ads. Now I'm going to scroll you down. This is the same search. Stay with me now. We're going to go down here and look at this section, the maps, where it says businesses. Okay, let's go back on and grab the little pencil here, where it says businesses right here. Okay, my bad scroll there. Businesses. This is called Google Maps, Google Businesses. And over here is my listing because I am in Winslow, Maine, and actually right on the map. Here we are on the map right here. This is the key here. To be shown on this platform called Google Business Profiles is a separate setup. If you have local service ads at the top, it doesn't mean you have Google Business. If you have Google Business down here, it doesn't mean you have local service ads. They're separate. This section down here that we just looked at is completely organic. Okay, What gets you on here is reviews and consistency in posting to your profile, updating all your websites. There's always going to be three. Three on desktop, three on mobile. You should be one of the three. The, the best of situations is to show here and to also show up here like we do. Now it's really putting emphasis behind your reputation and telling the public that you're the person to be calling. Reviews will show up in both places, but they're separate, okay? They're separate reviews platforms as well. They're managed totally independently. How do you set up Google Business? Well, I've done that over here. I've gone, I'm gonna change my screen over here. This is the Google Business platform. To sign up for it, you simply click Google My Business, search Google My Business, Google Business Profiles right here, get listed on Google. If you click on it, this is what you see as you come into it. You say manage now, it knows I have an account. So if I click manage now, it'll go into the account here. This is where I manage my Google Business Profile. This is separate than local services. In here, I can do all sorts of things. I can edit my profile. I can read reviews. I can message people back and forth. I can, I can edit the services I offer, the products like open houses that I offer. I can put Q and A's in here, all kinds of things for my business. And you can see it pulls my citations from all over the internet. I have several of these set up in my offices that are throughout the state of Maine. It pulls my videos. It finds me on LinkedIn. It found my Yelp profiles. It found me on Nextdoor. It finds me on Facebook. It finds me even on the main gov real estate. This is all Google business. This is not paid. This is free. Okay, so I hope that clears up a little bit about what there is a lot of confusion of. You need to have both. You want to have both. You will get phone calls from both. Let me go back to my search over here again. You will get phone calls directly from this profile. When they click call, it'll ring your phone. You'll get charged $35-$40 if it's a buyer or a seller in your market. If it's not a buyer or seller, you can request a credit for that. You will not be charged. Down here, People can call you as well. They can go to your directly to your website. They can click on this link here, or go to my website. There's that's my website. So you can go back and forth, but this is how they find you locally. To appear here, you must be on this map. But keep in mind, the key here is that they are separate platforms, almost like different businesses. If you have one, you don't have the other, you need to have both. Now, we have a course that tells you how to do both of them. So you have to work through both independently. Once you have them both set up, then come see us and we'll show you exactly how to rank and get all the phone calls you want. And you too can close an extra 10, 20, 30 deals a year like we do off of these profiles. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this little presentation here. And any questions about Google at all, reach out. My son, Ben, and I are happy to help you with that. Take care. Bye-bye.